So it's really quite pretty. See what you think. Hello, hello. Everywhere, everywhere. Bike riders, bike riders everywhere. Good morning. Hello, guys. Isn't that a nice road? I'm just going to take this little dipper and then it'll be camera away, I promise. Look at that, that's a ripper corner. Just in case you sleep in and you don't believe me, this road can be void of traffic, free of traffic, can be, you understand. It's possible, it is. And when it is, it's really quite nice, but it doesn't happen often. Got to time it well. Yeah, so I'm there. Um, I rode with a trio. They were super friendly, Justin, and he was the only one whose name I got, and he was super nice. And they were from, he was from Bronte, and they are just idling north like I was. So pedal along with them for a little while, and one of them just dropped the chain, and I said, I'm gonna politely go ahead and grab a pastry. So that's what I'm doing right now. And currently traffic free paradise. Won't be long before the jet skis are being towed down this hill, but for now, it's just birdies, the odd car, a little bit of a riser and amazingly enormous street trees and a shift of the gears and up the hill and onwards to the fun because I'm now out of traffic mainly or in other words off the Pacific Highway yippee please report like no traffic snarls no angry motorists look at this hedge God damn, I mean, it's beautiful, but is that someone's job? Like how often do they have to do that? It's pretty cool though, isn't it? So a little pastry uh, shop stop, and then uh, just pulled in here to, I mean, I'm not gonna give you the detail, you can imagine. And, um, I'm about to take the fun bit, so I don't know if I'll film or put it on cinematic setting and hopefully I won't catch any bike riders and sort of interrupt my rhythm, my flow, my mojo. Let's go, let's have some fun and um, go down a hill and then up a hill. But I'll probably go to my little crab watching boardwalk if it's been repaired, I hope it has. That's my fingers crossed sign. Um, and eat my almond croissant. I stuffed up the pantry supplies this morning. I thought I had a tin of baked beans, which always gets me through a good morning ride. And I didn't. So, banana to begin. And then a couple of coffees, yummy. And then, now armor croissant stuffed in the back pocket. Damn it, it gets green quickly when you come north. Like, it's just a, well, it's a different vibe to the Shire like last Saturday, but it's bloody beautiful. Even with a big giant net to stop, I'd say, golf balls from donging you on the scone, which is to say golf balls hitting you on the head. I'll show you around here in a tick, but um, when I go to the high settings or the slow-mo settings on the camera, uh, the camera, the battery just goes, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. So anyway, I'll see what I do because it's a beautiful descent and I thought I might switch the camera over. I'm just not going to go super duper slow-mo. I'm just going to do tourism in my town. I'm actually on the foot. Like walking with my, yeah, I do it sometimes. Look at this. This is why it's called the Sphinx Trail, right? <laughs> Do you know about this place? So, I'll give you the, the overview. 
I'm walking with my cleats, which is bloody stupid, but anyway, never mind. Here we go. The Sphinx and Pyramids are entirely the work of the late X number 5756 Pete Private W.T. Shirley, 13th Battalion, in memory of fallen comrades of the AIF. Okay. In case you didn't know what that was all about, you can Google it as well, but I gave you a quick overview. I didn't plan on doing this, it was just there were so many bike riders and I wanted to fix the camera settings and oh, it is pretty bloody nice. The gentle clip and clack of a changing gear and the bird song in absolute paradise. Hello people, have a good walk. So I'll bang the old chain down the cassette and uh, slip into the aero tuck and enjoy myself because this is a ripper descent. You gotta keep your wits about you because there's shadows, but these glasses are pretty good for it. Like I can pick out the little deviations in the road. Here's some bike riders. There he's out of the saddle. They're going for it, hey? And then here we go, down. You see why I wanted to do it on cinematic setting? Because it's really quite pretty. Anyway, um, I've got to just make sure that I don't stuff up. Because if I like did a Yenzi Voigt and smashed my face into the concrete right now, I'd be pretty upset. So I am going to put the camera away. Falling rocks do not stop. They just keep falling. Ha <laughs> That was a bad joke. Hey Coops. Waving, happy, look at that. Whoa. Oh. Now that was a classic looking Ducati, but it, oh, it freaking stinks. Anyway, da, 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 paradise. And I think it might be my breakfast spot. High tide around 10 o'clock, so I haven't got the full beauty of this zone, but it's pretty bloody lovely. Hey, isn't that lovely? Oh, it is lovely, I know. I don't really need to ask you. I've seen it and I've noted, yes, it is lovely. It's the truth. Oh, spring in Sydney, spring anywhere. It's a bloody beautiful time. Oh, that playground's been modernized, chirped up. Speed bump, Relontis here. Um, another one. Like, come here later, and there is going to be the sights and sounds and smells of summer, even though it's still spring. But there's going to be barbecues galore. Like, anyway. So, there's a gorgeous bridge just around there, but it's been shut for Reno's renovations. That's a jibber. I can't work that out. That's a long word track. And I've come down here and there are crabs, crabs, crabs everywhere. It's like, oh, come on. I have bad news. Yeah, it's shut still, still under Reno's. Oh, oh is it? Yep. Bama. Bama, bama. Just for dramatic effect, I'll come right in. Okay, until then. So 30th of November, make a mental note, come over here. I'm not gonna camp there for a bit over a month, waiting for that track to open, but it's good enough too, look at that. Hey. Oh. Yeah, it's cycling paradise, but it's also just sitting still paradise too, I reckon. Whack. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. 
Okay, where's my brekkie spot? I reckon I could do a whole lot worse than there. Shh, shut up, Rob. Okay, do you mind if I sit here with you, Birdie? Imagine if that crow was a black cockatoo. I would have like, it would have been like everyone kicked the goal. But uh, anyway, it was just a bloody crow. And now it's gonna go wah, 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 wah. Anyway, I'm not gonna complain because I'm in paradise. And check this out, which pocket? Ready? You know what that means? Calories. All right, you can watch me eat if you like, but it's pretty bloody boring. Tide's still coming in, evidently. Have a look at that. The crow's still fluffing around in the trees. So we've got a couple more hours of that slow meandering water, sort of the pool of the moon or something. It's full moon by the way, so it's a bloody terrific time of year. Oh, you can actually almost, yeah you can, you can see the water ebbing up onto the sand. Like if I had more time and didn't want to ride my bike, I'd just sit here today and I'd just film a time lapse of the tide coming in, but it's pretty boring. So as Sydney cyclists today, that's 35k from the city, right? In other words, you're here and just wow, well, a bit over an hour if you, you know, just tap it away at us. Well, it depends on your pace. It can be less than an hour if you want to race up the hill, but um, bloody easy to get here, and it's bloody worth the trip. But come early, like I said, this will be like absolutely heaving with people in a few hours' time. But I'll be gone and I'll have my exercise and then I can get on with the rest of my day. Anyway, oh, oh, oh. All right, going up the hill now. All the way down, I only saw people going the opposite way. So in other words, I didn't catch anyone. So that was pleasure. And uh, we'll see if I can, you know, freak it and go up the hill towards the north and not bump into anyone. That'd be terrific. I'd like that. Did Giovanni Pilu have that like restaurant there for a little while? I think so. Oh. oh. Is that new? Is that been is that fresh laid bitumen? I think it might be. I don't remember it being this bloody beautifully smooth. Chop it to ruin that aesthetic. Do you think that's Sunny Hammond? And if you know what I'm talking about, you're as old as me. So two and a half K climb, whatever. Why do people have to write that on the road? Why don't you just know when you got to the top because you're not climbing anymore? <clears throat> Wouldn't that be a good idea? 